Okay, back out here with the antique screw jack. Uh, I'm just gonna, it's pretty dry, not 100%, but I'm gonna start uh, working at it anyway, because that's the way I roll. Try to find the end of that tape. Which looks like it might be here. little bits that got trimmed off at the bottom when I stuck it in there. Oh, that's pretty sharp there. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get some grease. Grease up the inside. Grease this fully. I like to just leave them totally greased. Then I, that way I know it will never seize up on me. I suppose you could use something like anti-seize on there the same way, if that's what you have. I'm just going to kind of put it on there evenly. It'll squeeze out wherever there's too much. Need more than that. I'm going to fully coat it starting at the bottom and then as it goes up I'm sure it'll just smush up whatever's left. Let's see, how, let's see if that's enough or too much or what. Yeah, I got just a little bead starting so that's good. more for corrosion resistance than anything else because we've cleaned that metal 100% and we've taken away some of the natural even if it was bare cast we've taken away some of the natural oil that might have had left in the metal and we don't want it to corrode right up especially if it sits in one spot it could get locked and cause damage to those threads and the last thing you want is damage on the threads Try to get a look at the bottom without messing up my paint. Yeah, it's coming through pretty well greased, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's enough grease then. I mean, you could take it out a hundred times and re-grease it if you wanted to, but that's plenty. Just getting that grease off the paint there because we're not fully dry. 
All right, that's looking good. Now what I'm going to try to do is on the base, just on the base, I want to try to enhance those letters. It's got some uh, original stampings from the manufacturer there. I'm going to try to see if I can take some paint and just dab it on the tips of them just to make that show up better. Okay, so I just want to try to enhance that lettering right there. So I'm just going to take, this is the time you can use cheap tools. Cheapest one you can find. I'm just going to try to maybe dab the very tips of those letters. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I just want to kind of enhance the look of the letters so you can read it a little better. And um, I'm just going to put very little on this brush and just see if dabbing the, t the tips is going to work. So far not too sloppy. Let's not get cocky. Oh, get a little messy on the sea there. Stuff turns into glue in like five seconds. Nope. Bad one. Bad one. Oh, but dear, it's going bad. Oh, it got messy. All right, plan B. Got to reposition this camera. This isn't working. Let's try a different angle. That way I can get closer in there. Just trying to put ever so slightly of a amount on there so I can only get the tips, but it's it gets mushy real quick. It, yeah, it's all sticky already, so it doesn't really just get the tip like you'd think it would. Not bad, but a screw few, few more than a few screw ups. Yeah, it kind of flowed in some of the letters a little bit. It's okay, but I guess really, if I wanted to make it perfect, I could come back with some orange and just in and, and the very and like an artist brush get in there and really really get it where I globbed it in there 
All right, back here trying to get some detail on those letters. Um, I don't have any artist brushes, but what I do have is Q-tips, which is probably what I should have used for the painting itself, but I didn't. So I took some spray paint, sprayed it into this lid of the orange, and I'm just going to see if I can just dab inside those letters where I kind of kind of mush the gray in there and see if maybe, maybe we can get some of that detail a little better doing it in the reverse. So I'm just going to try to make this into a paintbrush. I'm going to even try to take, now let me try a new one. I'm going to try to take the cotton off and just use the stick part. Maybe that will be even more precise. Just use mostly stick. Maybe I can really get in there. I don't know. Get inside that. See a little bit. Oh, now I've already got it on the gray. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really a detail person, I guess. And also, being that this is a spray paint, it's very thin. It's got a lot of solvents in it, so to try to really get it in one coat, it's probably not going to work the best. Yeah, that's not the best. I'm going to try to go back with the gray and just see if I can touch up anything that, like that C a little bit, maybe. Um, okay. Give me just a sec. All right. Yeah, it would have probably been better if I just used a small artist brush the first time, but you don't know till you try. What else looks off? about the goodest, best I can get it. I really need to get some artist brushes if I want to get it perfect, but yeah, pretty good. Uh, you know, it's just an old jack. I guess it just doesn't have to be perfect. So anyway, there's our uh, final product. Take that box out of the way. Probably don't need that in a shot. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel. Maybe join me on uh, Be My Patreon and share it with others. Thanks.